it shows an error. So we uh, always go for again go for standards, and we don't compromise just to make it a use of development. So I hope this is uh, clear why we need migration. And with that background, I am on moving on to slide number four. Um, uh, I hope you can, should excuse us because I think there is a, we just done some dry run. There is I think five seconds of uh, transition time between slides. So. Uh, so you please wait for patients for three four seconds. Yeah, I'm on slide number four, which says about the types of migration. There are two types of migration. One is the V to V migration or the version to version migration, and the other one is competitive migration. So V to V migration is um, basically migrating from uh, one version of Xperia app server to another version of Xperia app server. That is relatively simpler than the later one. Um, uh, because it just needs some uh, deployment descriptor and wherever the um, version to version changes from within uh, you know, our Whisper app server, we need to just do the changes. But the later one is a little complex because as I said, we need to completely scan through the app application code and then the uh, deployment descriptors, everything. And uh, uh, the competitive migration, having said that it is more complex, but that is the bread and butter for most of the companies. You know, um, because it's an external call, I may not be able to mention the name of the partners, but there are a lot of partners within India and across the globe. Their major source of business is doing a competitive migration from any other competitive product to their app server. So uh, we are moving to next slide, five. So see, most of time this competitive migration is like uh, we'll get a very short timeline because this decision is taken after the production. Most of the time, you know, the application is running on uh, some other uh, app server, and due to some issues or the performance or whatever the reason, the TC or so many other reason, they want to move to WebSphere app server. So the decision most of the time happens when this system is already running in production. So, so we cannot tell to the partner or customer, hey boss, we'll come back after one month you know, with, our, with my migration. So it has to be done within days, if not at least within weeks. We cannot take months of time. So in the right hand side of my chart, uh, I have uh, kind of uh, given the steps in a very high level which you know, about the migration. First, we need to start with the migration planning because it's not a easy, it, it's itself a project because we are going to change the project which has been developed for years and by tens of developers, at least 10, 50 or hundreds of developers and which is running in production for a longer time and you know, we are expected to move in a short time and we cannot deploy more resource for that as well because the project is already rolled out and what we get from the customer or partner is only those guys who are uh, supporting the maintenance, things like that. So first we need to plan the migration planning, then we have to do the configuration migration, then we can do the application migration. This can happen parallelly, that's why you know you can see the two parallel boxes. And what we get is a migrated environment which is production ready, ready to go for production. And in the left hand side I kind of put given a pie chart, you know, which compares the steps involved in migration. That, you know, it can of planning, testing, tuning like that and um, you know the most of the almost more than 40 percentage uh, you know, constitutes the application changes testing okay so what if you can make this thing as easier the major contributor that the 40 percentage if you can make it little faster then it will be really helpful you know for the migration